T'as pas dit action. <coughs> action Action Hi, welcome to Can You Make It Episode 18. We are in Denver. We're Colorado. in the US. Yeah, look at that. This is USA. <laughs> And today, for the episode, we have uh, the ultimate style cat from Canada. Oi Canada, the beast. Travis Collier. <coughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. What's up So. We are really happy because Travis speaks way better English than we do, so <laughs> you guys are going to understand the episode for once. Today's tricks is very, very important for the evolution of Splatman. We're going to talk about how to pump. Pumping or like to pump a tricks is like generating speed yeah. without like the use of your foot on the tire yeah. or you just like use your body on your bike to like generate speed. That's what pumping is. So in uh, in the previous episode we show you many different tricks like N5, Max Circle, all of those tricks, almost all are possible to be a pumping trick. I feel like the first thing you have to understand to pump is maybe just get on your pedal and try to like make the bike go forward without using your pedal. So just like use your arm, right? Yeah, I think it's all about, in any rolling trick, I think it's about just movement. Um, moving your hips or moving your legs or whatever it is and sort of using gravity to sort of generate speed. Pumping has this technique where it's like it's like almost a fall but a recovery. It's like fall recovery. You keep doing that, you use that energy and you just build speed. It's actually, I always thought it was one of the most magical parts of like one of the more magical techniques in Flatland is actually generating speed out of what feels like nothing. So you have like two ways to pump. You can pump a trick forward mm -hmm. to like gain speed forward. Or you can pump a trick in circle. circle. Travis, what's the, what's the first thing you want to do? First trick, I so guess we'll give, a, we'll give a steamroller a go. Yeah, yeah. steamroller. Oh, so sure. Perfect. when you're in the steamroller position, like what you want to do? So I guess with like a steamroller, like if you're in a spinning steamroller, I guess it's like you have your sort of circle that you're rolling around and you have your center, of your center of gravity in the middle. So you're going around that center and what you're doing is you're leaning the bike into that center of gravity it feels like. Now I know this sounds crazy, it actually in a way it doesn't really make sense when you explain it. The cops are coming for us. They found us. Sorry, Travis. That's okay. <laughs> What was that? Uh, but you, you, uh, you're going around this circle and you're leaning, you're dipping into that circle of gravity and you're using that energy to just generate speed. So it actually is amazing how fast you can actually get that speed going. I think this is the easiest position to pump. Yeah. Like a switch-handed steamroller. Yeah, yeah. So what you want to do is, as Travis said, is you want to lose your balance to like get it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Try you. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> Come on already! <laughs> Denver is very noisy. It's very dangerous. <laughs> But what you want to do when you're on the steamroller position is like, you're on the steamroller position, drop your seat, like, like, like going, if you like were crushing, yeah. but then like recover by like yeah. push on the handle bar and like lifting the seat. So basically you want to use your whole body to like push. Basically you want to push on the ground like if you want to dig a hole yeah, in yeah. the ground. actually feel after a while it's all about feel exactly you'll really feel after a while that, that you're gaining speed you'll start to see it yeah you'll start to feel it now like the going straight pumping i would say the easiest trick would be a, a peg wheelie like to pump a peg wheelie is the same so you are in the peg wheelie position and you want to use the leg that's in the air to like kind of lose your balance and then like push on the your foot that's on the peg to like yeah yeah like 
It's also like about you, using that swing of exactly. the weight, the weight of whatever your balance leg is. There is another pumping, which is uh, not a pumping with one leg in the hair. There's this type of pumping with two foot on the pegs. That's another way of pumping. Yeah. It becomes from the upper body and the arms. So it's going to be a movement like doing this. But it's always the same. You fall and recover. Fall and recover. Pretty much has always some something in the hair, either a hand, either a legs. But you use something to to push the gravity, to push like the balance. Put yourself into a danger position and get back into something very comfortable for you. Yeah, it's like always being on the edge. Like pumping is living on the edge. <laughs> wow, that could be yeah. a ta that could be so, a tattoo. So deep. I feel like the good thing about pumping is once you understand how to pump, you can do it with every trick. Yes, and that's it, awesome. It opens yeah. so many doors. I like to think that any trick, you can pump. So now that you understand uh, what's pumping, Travis is gonna show you some variation. Check this out. Alright, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much, Travis, for explaining us how to pump today. No problem. Thanks awesome. for having me, guys. We're, we're yeah, so glad amazing. to have you yeah. in this. Uh, can you make it episode? It's awesome. Yeah. And uh, thanks to the Fizz guys for having us in Denver. It was an absolute pleasure being here, and we're all going to Edmonton next weekend. Woo. See you there. See you there.